What's with the photo? Shoot the other day about Ingolos Yao. That's something I've never seen before. Look at it. Okay, right. Starts working. Yeah, but it's following the signs. Yo, yo, yo. Maga figure out. Since part of the man, they've been waiting for him. Got got long little old vulality. Back calling you lost. Not a shangy lost. You couldn't miss his rule. Yes, that's it. So, Matalam Hablis, it was never about the wings of Fano. It, it's the fire in you. Do you guys have contracts at Podcast and Chill, even with your crew, etc.? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're not running as puzzle shop. The second question I wanted to ask. Have you heard me whistle of a show because I'm sick? Because I've got the flu. It's a discovery for you that you're going to get this is the hustlers corner. Guys, I'm quite excited today. First up, let's go straight to the yes. YouTube side. Yeah. The kind of one, two, three, click it, click, 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 yes. click, click that like button. Come this side. Let's click. Guys, you have to click the subscription button. It's important. So I'm trying to get a, a profile uh, of A. I'm like, guys, give me profile so that I. Uh, I know how to introduce you guys. They're like, but Raspo, we've been together with you since YFM. Just say YFM, Highfield Podcasting. But you know what? The history is actually even longer than that. I don't even know your relationship. Really, how, did, how, did you, how did you guys start your relationship? We were at YFM. Uh, so he was already in at YFM. I got there via Y Academy. And then we met in the Y Academy because he was being punished for something. And they sent him back to the internship. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> As usual. <laughs> so that's how I knew him. And we never thought that we'd do a show together. No one thought, even too mad the program manager then, didn't think Smack Saul, right? Because I was on other shows. And then he left YFM. Yeah. I left radio at some point. And it was through Facebook that he remembered I exist. Yeah. Because I followed him, because you know with Facebook, when you follow people from 10 years ago, you still see their posts. Yeah. So I'd followed him when we were at Y, obviously. And then uh, when the podcast started, I kept seeing like his posts. I'm like, this nigga's funny, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I pull shit. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, 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 Len left the podcast and we needed <sighs> someone to, to, to replace um, uh, Len. So initially I wanted Tepi. I don't know if you know Tepi from one Tepi, film. yes, yes. Tepi works with Sapta. Yeah, she's on the ladies' podcast now, on the podcast. Tepi um, Mabulani. Yeah. 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 So we did a show with her, and they were like, hey, let's try one with Saul as well. Akim Tepi. Let's try Saul. King and, of and, 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 and then Saul came, we're recording at Ghost Lady's house, and dude, from the moment he walked in, ball of energy, Jeez. you know his voice is loud, he's so loud. A present. <laughs> Axel, listen here, <laughs> and the security had to come and shut him down. Yeah. Because he's disturbing patrons. But we had so he's much so fun. Loud. We had yeah, so much fun. Man. We gave him great joy, almost spilled it in the mixer. <laughs> and from then on, everyone, the whole crew, even myself, were like, this is the this guy. The guy. You knew it. Yeah. Yeah, that's literally the story. But it's been literally. dope since from Fresh Days. Yeah, yeah, yeah from Fresh, from yeah. even when I did with Mo Flavor, the breakfast. Yeah. We took after your show, remember, yeah. when yeah. you left to Ukose, I think. Yeah. yeah, we took after a smooth show. Since then, man, I've been doing this thing. And most people don't discover me now, you know, and they're like, the podcast is the only thing we know you're yeah. from. When you tell them you're dropping music, they're like, huh? What are you doing? When you tell them you're DJing, they're like, huh? What are you doing? But you know I've been at it, man. And that's what I wanted to ask about the music. I don't know why he stopped making music. Penyo, this man used to make, like, flipping hot music, like Afro. Sure. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful music. You gotta, you gotta get back, bro. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in the studio right now. I'm busy. <laughs> it's only podcast where they don't say, flipping. Flip. 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 But it's smooth a hot man, you know. Like, so, hey, man, you know, kids are watching, you know. Like, yeah, man, I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm back in studio. I'm busy. Flipping busy. Back in studio. Back. I'm flipping in studio. I'm flipping songs in studio, man. I'm flipping, working hard in studio. So the, the real the real elephant in the room <coughs> yeah. happened last week. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Saul. You've just hooked up Kai FM with Dineo Ranaka. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, um, you. thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Russell. Thank you, thank you. Wait, thank you so, so, Uno, Uno to who's been here before, and I think who's a mate of some of ours, uh, trended because he was going hard at you. Yeah. Uh, calling you a seller, two Judas. Mm -mm -mm. Um, number one, I think you're potentially the smartest podcaster we have in this country. And I think, shout out to Mac G for, for recognizing your talent. And yeah, even on yeah. that day, Putting Shout you out, on, man. 
you know. Um, what happened? Kind of, um, I had to now jump on that space, as you know, yeah. defending you. Usol is not leaving podcast and chill, but the real yes. elephant is people feeling like you sold out to podcast and chill. I think, you know why? It's because of the podcast and what it stands for, right? We, 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 we our stories, you know, more so his, yeah. right, were ejected by the game, you know, the, the, the mainstream game that is radio, yeah. to get me. Me, my story is slightly different, but fact is I ended up outside of that space and he started the podcast it's 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 rising every day and we've been vocal about what we think of the state of radio mm -hmm. the state of the mainstream game the fakeness in the game so having said all of those things people are now like yeah it's a it's a it's it's, it's backstabbing if now you, you 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 are back on mainstream radio sure right and a lot of people say we said radio is dead. I said people are doing cock radio, and that's a tr that's a fact. And I'll say it again. People it is a fact. I can radio. agree with you. Yeah. You get me? And then the medium is not alive. No one is listening to it, or people are because they drive to work. Mm. It's it's easier to tune into a, 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 sure. a radio show than a podcast. Sure. So it's that. You know what I mean? People felt like they. They they, 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 they they supported us in echoing those sentiments. So when you join a radio, and I'm a broadcaster, you know, I'm a broadcaster. And if an opportunity comes to broadcast, that won't interfere with what I do, the podcast, you know, because the podcast has become like therapy to a lot of people. Yeah. And what people don't realize is it's also our therapy, you know, it's yeah. that time of the week where I can be fully, fully, fully free and laugh with my mates and still create magic and still do what I love, which is broadcasting. So that's why a lot of people felt like it's a betrayal. And when the story also came out, it was made to sound like it wasn't, in fact. They said Salt joins Kai FM, but everybody thought when you say that, subsequently, naturally, I'm now leaving the so podcast. Leaves. Sure. How do you Again, feel, Mac? For me, uh, more than anything, I was happy for my brother. Yeah. You know, um, and like I said on the podcast, like, um, what we're doing is, it's, it's above us, you know. God is at the wheel. Yeah. And whatever happens is because God wanted it to happen. Sure. You understand? So, mm. I cannot be anything but proud of, you know, I know his love for radio. He's always been a radio guy. Mm -hmm. And him going back on radio and broadcasting, that's what he loved. That's what he's passion. So, I have to support him in that, you know. Sure. And I'm happy for my brother. So, for me, it was like, yo, dude. Are uh, we good? It's not going to change anything, right? He's like, no, it's not going to change anything. This is wrong. And they don't interfere. And yeah. you, you said this before because we've, we've had radio offers before. Yeah. It just didn't make sense. He was offered a gig on radio, mm. but they said, you need to shut down the podcast. Yeah. Right? I was offered as well. They're like, you need to leave the podcast. Jeez. So that those didn't make sense. But sure. he said this on the podcast, like if opportunities come, especially for me, I should grab them, right? If they make sense. Sure. And this deal for me, made sense. That's why I'm still on the podcast. We agreed, you know, that, yeah, cool. And I told them, it's not on the table, you know, I'm, I'm staying on the podcast. Jeez, I mean, congrats, it's just huh? like, it's just like, uh, if, if, if Trevor Noah comes and he says oh, he wants him on the daily yeah. show, yes. are you going to stand between him? Why are you exposing my life? Why are Trevor Noah takes it. Actually, I've had the chat. We've had, we've had the chance, we've had the chance. important to have it. I think yeah. it was his own strategic way also of wanting to find that good. And then not my answer, the future's keep on. Yeah. Wow, man. But um, on a serious note, I, I, I'm one for growth. Exactly. I'm, I'm one for, we all have to be the best 100%. as we can be. 100%. You know Thank you. 100%. Yeah. And, and I would love for that to happen. 100%. I want him to grow. Yeah. Actually, that's why I brought him here because... I want to put him in a light where the right people can see him and yeah. yeah. Because, um, you know, when you've got some sort of a, a platform or a pedestal, whoever you put on, it's a platform. Even me coming to your show, 100%. That, that's a platform already. Like yeah. somebody out there might see me. Mm. But I kind of believe there's people like Peño and, and, and Soul that are not just your everyday talent. Yes. It's just a, a certain type of a unique, unique talent that you can't be... Uh, shout out to Kenton Pile. At some point, he, he tried. He shout tried, out, Kenton. He, he tried and he, he did a great job at Y. But one thing I'd always learned from Kenton is at some point, he gave Trevor Noah a, I think it was, 
I don't want to call it an ultimatum, man. Mm. But Trevor, I think, was doing a a, a YFM graveyard show. Graveyard, yeah, yeah, 12 to 3. That. Yeah. Mm. And I think Kenton was, and, 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 and rightfully so as a boss, like when your employee is not always there on yes. time or sometimes they're on tour with comedy. Yeah. I think at some point, and, and I stand to be corrected, uh, Kenton gave Trevor an option to either stay on Y and leave comedy mm. or just go to comedy and leave Y. <laughs> we all know what happened. Exactly. Whoa. So I don't want to be that guy when Trevor is in Hollywood speaking to the whole world. I'm that guy who was trying to block his dreams. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, Do you know what I mean? Cool. I'd rather be the guy who was a part of his winning. Sure. I'd rather be the guy who, sp who gets spoken about thanks to Smoo, he contributed. Boom. Tap, tap of way. You know what I mean? And one thing, man, like, you see, with us, we're in uncharted waters and a lot of, we're the guinea pigs. So when I take this gig and it becomes a success, 20 years down the line, a lot of, not even 20 years, mm. in a few years, mm. a lot of program managers are going to look to podcasters, mm, yeah. right? Because the easiest way as a broadcaster or a speaker to showcase your talent is start your YouTube channel, yeah. do your thing. Instead yeah. of sending demos yeah. that sit in the crate amongst 5,000 other demos. Danko. You do the thing, you get a following, and then the mainstream or radio decides, oh, fuck, there's talent, there's talent. And what does that do? It improves even the quality of radio. Mm. Mm. So through me and... Yeah, but I'm too, I hey, sell out, whatever, whatever, whatever. But 20 years down the line, there'll be many talented people on radio who have been, who, who, who got that opportunity through podcasting or other things that they're doing and both can live concurrently. People, it's as if one must die. It's like, we love that as South it. Africans. You know what I mean, yes. bro? As yes. South Africans, we love yeah. that. Now, Charlemagne does that. You know, so many podcasters are poor. Tippy, Tippy is on the latest Tempe podcast. Tippy is on YFM, on the latest podcast. Do you get me? So it's the problem that I'm on the biggest podcasting show. What is the problem exactly? A lot of people do it. And we love this thing in South Africans whereby hip-hop and piano are enemies. You know what I mean? Back then it was Kwaito and hip-hop yeah. are enemies. Yeah. And there's no need. Yeah, you know, like, I'm asking, I'm saying, there's no need. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you at school, but yes, sir, no ways. No ways. You know? So it's like this, this whole thing of house and hip hop can't coexist. It's bad. If a house guy does a hip hop beat. I put my ass in. If a house guy does a, a, a hip hop song, he's selling out. If a hip hop guy does a selling out, but it's all music. Sure. And this is all broadcasting at the end of the day. And you're right? right, I think your success at Kai FM also benefits the podcast. It has to it, it, has it does. 100%. There's people that will listen to Kai and hear him for the first time. Yeah. Dude, 100%. You know what I mean? With brands even. You know, because some brands still won't look at us. Sure. But when they're like, oh, flip. Oh, this shit is working. Even. And Kai, oh, damn. They, these guys are good. Yeah. Essentially, here, what? Oh, fuck, they're good. You know, because so many brands don't even give us a chance. It's like they hear Mick G. They hear podcasts like, ah, you know? Without actually seeing the impact that we actually make in people's lives, real impact. I wanted to ask, since you mentioned Utepi, because on the platform at JJ Taban on ENCA, someone commented that it was just a bunch of, of gents, you know. So I wanted to know why do you guys think it's men that are leading this podcasting? Uh, where do you think women have a, a role to play? Uh, shout out to you guys for putting females on, but I guess the challenge out there with you guys sitting on this platform, the challenge to women, what should they be doing? To be more noticeable hey, and not just make it a male industry and a boys club again. Hey, man, I don't know, man. I can't speak for women. I can't speak for men as well. I can only sure. speak for myself. But what I do see is that men are being silenced right now. Yeah. You know, and uh, YouTube or Spotify or podcasting is an avenue for niggas to just talk and be and open about their feelings. Because right now, you'll see, like, if anything trends about GBV or whatever, niggas don't say shit. Yeah, it's scared of being cancelled. Because they want to be cancelled. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you think about it, our platform is literally the last where niggas can just be honest. Yeah. Whether our opinions are right or wrong, but we're expressing them. Sure. And right now, there isn't any other platform that you can tell me where niggas can just tell their, their, their truth, how they see it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think there was, there was also a, 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 a need in the market for that. Sure. So that's why maybe even when people watch or guys because a lot of guys watch with their partners yeah they can relate because that's how we talk as a much just honest right. gents man yeah you know, with honest opinions but to answer you bro i mean abroad i forgot the name but there's two white ladies 
there's so many podcasters, female, who are doing it. Yeah. So locally, ladies might just start podcasts and kick ass. Sure. Michali, it's proven that you can go on YouTube, start a thing, and get many followers. You know what I mean? Sure. So most of them might just that's start the podcast. You know, it, it shouldn't that's be. Easy. Yeah. It, yeah, that's easy. It shouldn't be makeup. Sure. You know what I mean? So, so a lot of them are like Shouldn't makeup tutorials. Makeup, like oh, makeup only. tutorials yeah. only. Sure. You get me? You're a woman. You've got an opinion on, on matters, on life. And and you don't, you don't just do a kick-ass podcast. So it's we, up to them. We, to we've spoken the, about this thing of, of men needing a, a place to, to speak and to be free. When we were yes. looking at some of the data and how many men actually watch this stuff. And you were yeah. asking why. And part of it was, I think, in the same conversation when we lost Kevin Samuels. This concept that men feel like they can't speak because they're scared of being cancelled. Yeah. Because every yeah, time they say something, say. women will bash them, etc. So it's like, no, we want a space. Because I'm sure you guys meet women who are always, oh, my husband loves your stuff, and my boyfriend, etc. And I love it too. Yeah, I don't know. A lot of them are yeah, yeah. by the men. I get what that's yeah. the point. Yeah. So it's that. And I also like the fact that you mentioned Charlemagne because I wanted to ask, are there podcasts that you guys kind of look up to? I know Spud has mentioned Joe Budden before. Are there podcasts you look up to either locally on the continent or internationally? Uh, I, I, I liked, um, Joe Budden. Yeah. Yeah. I was a yeah, big fan. Yeah. He was dope, man. Uh, I like the fact that was. just like your story. I'm also listening to he you. Was, but it's out. Like, was, yes. He started a successful platform, by the way, called Everyday Struggle. With the yes. Guys. Academic. Everyday Struggle. Yes. That was dope. There was never an agreement with money or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He left. Yeah. But I like the fact that after leaving, he became successful. Yeah. He started the Joe Budden podcast. Now. Regardless. Oh, he's cool. Yeah, regardless. He's, cool. he's cool. He's cool. Academic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so that's funny. Yeah. 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 Um, but uh, to be honest, I don't consume a lot of podcasts. Like the podcast I listen to, funny enough, is football, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like mm. I'm a big football fan. I listen to the United Stand, uh, football daily from the BBC, talk sport. Like I just consume a lot of football podcasts because sure. that's what I'm interested in. No, so, solid. Thank you. I'll be honest with you. Say, man, I don't like, I get this question. We, we both do. I don't. I've checked out Joe Biden. He's amazing. Um, Joe Rogan, he's amazing. But I wasn't an avid, even with his podcast, right? I checked it out because a friend who was, who was a cellist still today put me on your podcast and I checked it out. And then I just, I'm, I don't know, I'm not a guy who listens to podcasts mm. or watches them unless, like with him, Chili M. I was yeah. like, oh, he's, he's my favorite broadcast. I Who checked did? it out. Mm. Scoop, I love him. And you would come across clips. Then I'm like, oh, this is interesting. Then I'll check it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Based on the guests or whatever is being spoken about. But I'm not like an avid podcast viewer. Listen, I'd be lying to you. I'm checking, I'd be lying. I'm checking out podcast locally. There's oh, a dope. dope. One terrible. Podcast. Terrible. There's a dope one called um, Gullian Class. <laughs> Trash. I'm it's terrible. Trash. <laughs> Trash. Yeah, I like it. I like that one. I like, um, just look at the numbers. The numbers speak for themselves. Numbers don't lie. But I'm one of the ones that like it. But, okay. but I, I'm just mentioning you what I like. Man. <laughs> no, are you being culture. serious? No, I'm being serious. Jeez. No, okay. Being serious. No, I'm being serious. That's no, how I, I, love, I, 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 I love Miss Cosmo. I love... Uh, I used to watch you when you started. Yeah. With Speedster and um, Vigilante. Scoop. And Scoop. Yes. Yeah, but uh, it's trash. I, I love the fact that you're saying it's trash because... Uh, My nigga. You know, we're an educational platform. We're here to teach and we push a lot of positivity, but we, we love the idea of people being open and honest. Because one of the issues people have with mainstream is so many people lie and are fake. Pussy You're fix. like, nah, and dog. That's the, th that's that's the thing with the podcast. The podcast is a great podcast. Great idea. Sure. Right? Where I think, and this is personally, I mean, like, we all have different opinions. You like it. But for me, I think where they missed it is that they have so many industry friends that yeah. they can't be honest about their opinion. Yeah. And pe in this space, people just want authenticity. So, Miss Cosmo can't say she hates... Whoever. Miss Prue's album. Sure. Because they just were partying together last night at a gig, mm. you know? So then that's not a... Also, it's, so poked up. So it's very industry. It's not authentic. I get you. I get you. you, how, do you how do you Which is where yourself? they lose me. That's, that's, I get you. That, that, that. How do you protect yourself from that? Because one of my concerns has always been, what happens when you become so famous that you know everyone? And now you can't talk shit about people. How do you protect your Ooh, honesty and your truth? So that you can be like, no, nah, I would have dropped the crap album. I didn't like it. I thought it was whack or whatever. How do you protect yourself, your truth? Well, for me, that? for me, my obligation is to always be true to the chillers at all points, at all times, you know? Uh, so if it offends Smoo or whoever, I couldn't care less. Jeez. As long as 
the chillers are happy. Uh, that's all that matters to me. Because at the end of the day, I've never been an industry person. Okay. I just happen to work in the industry. Yeah. You agree, so? I agree. And also... But I mean, these like, are like close example. friends. I'm no, a no, friend no. man, for but example. Your, to who? Not just to anyone that uh, you work with. With your example, right? Yeah. Uprasmu is a fan of the podcast. Mm. And then if we say, ah, that song was whack. But he's heard us say that, and honestly so, yeah. about other artists. Sure. So and if we, it's dope, we'll brand, say... We're still on brand. And if it's dope... We'll say, you. By the same leg with Focalistic. You know, there was a whole thing that happened. But whenever he does amazing work, we're like, yo, that's amazing. Mm. Sure. Yeah, we clowned him for those lines, you know. But if he does great work, it's not personal. So if Spoo as Max friend understands that, then we're good. And if they don't, then they want us to be industry. You know, to be like, ah, industry friends. You know what I mean? Oh, but that's tough, guys. I don't even want to lie to you. That's yeah, tough. It's, it's not an easy place, but... It's an honest place, you know. You be honest, honest to each other, friend. Instead honest of like and to yourself, and you you wouldn't be honest to your friend if you go on your platform and say his album is amazing yeah. when it's whack. Because yeah. what happens? Those very same people you said it's amazing to chillers listen to it yeah. and they go, "You lied to us. It's whack." Sure. And you're always honest about music. Like with me, people trust my music. When I'm, I tell people there's an, an amazing song. They Check know it out. Like with Osama, for example. Yeah. You know. Before it blew up, I was like, there's a song or something. It's fucking amazing. It's going to be the biggest song. And it was the biggest song. Now, and if who's going to give me a song, and which, since then, I'm getting emails. People want me to mention their song. Yeah. I'm like, no, I only mention it organically if it's dope it's also. Yeah, if it's whack. If, if, I, if, I'm, if, I'm if I go on the show, if I go on the show and I say a whack song Thanks, is dope, who does yeah. it benefit? Sure. Mm. Who I does it you. benefit? Because it, it won't even benefit your friend. Yeah. Yes. Because... People will give it one listen and, and like, stop. Nah. And but this is garbage, this is trash. Yeah. So it doesn't benefit anyone except for your relationship. Mm. And then your relationship is built on lies. It's it's a what? It's an industry relationship. Yes. It's a fake relationship. It's built on favors. And those are many relationships in the game. They're built on what can you do for me? What can I do for you? Well, you Max know? said something interesting last week about the type of sponsors that you guys are willing to bring on, and that as long as it never affects the chillers, and you guys don't get to censor yourselves and. In, in, immediately my question was does this mean you guys are willing to be broke for your truth yeah yeah but fortunately enough we're in a position unlike most podcasts in the country where the chiller sustain us um they literally pay our bills from the sound guy to the producer yeah to everybody sure so we are fortunate enough that we can still uh do what we want and not have to feel a financial burden of, you know, trying to please. So we're not a slave to the bag. Mm. If the bag comes, it's a bonus. Mm. Then, you know, everybody gets a bonus. <laughs> what if yes. the chillers don't... <laughs> and bonus. What if, you guys, what, if, what if the chillers say... You guys say stuff that the chillers don't like? <clears throat> then we apologize. I said So some, you're captured by the chillers? Yes. That's who I work for. What if you truly believe in those stuff, though? So, Genuinely so. so. So to me, like... Two weeks ago, I said something they didn't like. Yeah. And then when I went back and thought about it, I was like, actually, they're right. You know? Then I apologized. And we keep it moving. If they were wrong? Okay, but you realize, yes, that's what I mean. If they are wrong, and what you said, you truly believe in it. If then, then you are right. If, if then I think they're wrong, I'll come on the podcast and say, I still feel that way. Wow. Because all it sounds like to me is being captured. You're just choosing chillers because there's the subscribers and they watch the content. But someone would be like, how much does it cost to keep the lights on? I'll pay five times that. Now you listen to me. The thing is, bro, ch the, the chillers, our audience, it's like family. Yeah. And with family, you disagree and you agree. Isn't that industry Yeah, friends? sometimes no. you, Sometimes you don't talk to family for a month. Of course. Or forever. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's kind of forever, you know. But sometimes you disagree with family. No, like yeah. You can't, look, you're like, you can't look at one another in the eye for a week. Yeah, so all his family. If I agree with him, I'm like, ah, dog, you were right on sure. that one. Yeah. But if I don't, I'll be like, ah, no, I still stand by what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. and if I see that I'm wrong, I'm like, I was wrong, actually. Mm. But on your point, bro, there's a, a moment um, where Mac called me, you know, we, we had a, a sponsor, um, and it was time to renew the, the agreement. Mm. And they were giving us a shit deal. But he's worried about paying so... You know, it doesn't come cheap. Oh. Pay these guys and <laughs> everybody else, right? And I said, leave it. It's a shit deal. They're giving us a nigga deal. I said, literally, they're giving us a shit deal. And we left Because we're just some black broadcasters. Sure. I said, fuck them. If it means we're doing this shit, I'm not getting paid. And I still say that too. I said it the other week. 
I was like, dude, if we're not getting paid, it's cool. Sure. We're doing what we love. You know what I mean? Sure. And fortunately for us, we're able then to do gigs, DJ, and, you know, supplement our income. Yeah. yeah, exactly, from other sources, you know? But even if we didn't, I'd be like, nah, man. I mean, we shoot once, twice a week. You get me? So uh, the rest of my other time, I should work also. Sure. You know, and make my own money. But we do this for the love, and that's what we shouldn't forget. So, yeah, no sponsor can say, I want you guys to do this if we don't want to. Otherwise, we're pulling... The plan. money. Now we don't do bro, it for I, the money. I think bro. you need to understand it's important for us to stay true to our chillers because those are the guys that make us. And yeah. that's what brought them. To the yeah, podcast, you know what man. I mean? The those are the guys that buy the yeah, exactly. Yeah. So once you deviate from that, yeah. you've lost them and then you've got nothing because mm. celebrities won't back you, sure. sponsors won't back yeah. you, and then you're left with shit on your face. You know, because the sponsors are there for the numbers. Yeah. So what makes the numbers stay? It's who we've been all along. Fair enough. So we can't change that for Fair anything. Enough. For anything. You can't change that. No, thanks, James. I think that's very important for potential podcasts of the future to hear stuff like this. Because the whole argument for people leaving mainstream to come here is because they want exactly this. Now that so we're here, you. for me, the question is, there's a lot of youngsters out there who are inspired by what we're all doing in, in terms of podcasting. And I love this conversation that we're having. That we don't have to rely on sponsors, Right. Because whoever pays the bill calls the shots. Yeah. Um, but there is ways on how you can monetize on YouTube. Because a podcast, yes. you can distribute it on many different platforms. But I think the most uh, beautiful and easiest platform to consume podcasts right now, especially visual podcasts, is YouTube. Yes, yes. And there's ways in how you can monetize Within it. YouTube. H how to monetize a podcast on YouTube. Maybe you can share some tips for some youngsters out there. Uh, it's pretty standard across the... Uh, the, 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 um, the world um, so we make money via advertising so when you watch a podcast when the more people watch the ad the more money we get so it's based on the CPM is it CPM? are those skip those CPM. ads that yeah, it's CPM, yeah, CPM. CPM yeah. Ne? Yeah. so if okay. you're watching this right now and you skip the ad DJ Spoo doesn't get paid ah. but if you watch the whole ad then you get paid who gets paid yeah so we, that's, that's how we monetize and, and, the and the memberships? Yeah, and there's memberships. Membership there's memberships way. now. There's super chats. There's a whole lot of things. There's merch. Yes. Uh, but mainly it's from uh, advertising. Okay. Yeah. And what do I do as a new podcaster to know that information? Where do I go? Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all in the net, dog. Like, yeah. you can Google this shit. Yeah. On YouTube and search yeah, you're actually correct. It is on YouTube. Yeah. And people do some videos from time to time yeah. to educate others on how to monetize, oh, how yeah? to monetize your YouTube channel. Sure. But I think what I've realized, having been in this game, is that you mustn't rely on it um, uh, just as a single thing. Money, money making stream. For me, I see it like as a billboard. You understand? It's That's like, true. okay, cool. You're watching this, but you can grab, you can grab a grandeur. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? You're watching this, you can grab a profile. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's where you can really monetize because you control that. Yeah. But with, with, with YouTube, you can't control. Some videos are maybe too explicit and you can't monetize them. Uh, you know, there's a whole lot of things that go into it, but it can't be your main focus. Like, okay, cool. You won't get rich just from YouTube. I get you. Mm. You have to expand and... Yes. and think out of the box so i can use a podcast as a platform yeah to, to other push work out there. like a billboard yes. other work or push a product like a great girl yeah i can mm. sell or more merch. Merch. Yeah. gigs gigs yeah. 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 yeah push your song yeah ah. and if your podcast is dope you got other people that are going to give you what you're saying super chats where they like your content so much that they're willing to just donate something. Yeah, all other people it's, it's, are just members. They're willing to pay 10 bucks. Every month. And that's yeah. it's, it's, not a, it's not a big thing in the country right now. And it's something that Saul has been nailing on. Like It's fascinating. Uh, it's fascinating, And, and if, if that happened, dog, like, it would change the game. I told you, Please explain. Please explain. It's fascinating. Explain, bro. I'm, I, I'm, it's fascinating. And when I say, guys, when people say they are chillers, it's like somebody saying, I am a card-carrying member of such a... Yes, not just a supporter. I pay podcast and chill a certain amount of money every month so when i comment yeah Shout and when i comment you can see a badge next to my name Thank which God. means i that's what he's talking about when he's talking about his chill when they're talking about their chill sure. it's people who pay every mm. month 
Mm. Those are the people they listen to. Abo Those note. are the people Abo note, they yeah. work for. Yeah. Oh, is, is Nota also a... a it big, was one of the reasons well, you... Yeah, yeah unfortunately he is. Like, like, me too. Yeah. Money. Me too. Let me say this quickly before we continue. I'm so much of a chiller and so much of a big fan that when Mac G on JJ Dub on his show when we were invited... Sure. Uh, he was trying to tell the story <coughs> of their first big video going viral with DJ Zinke's interview. Sure. Mm. And my papa, I interjected. I was like, I gave you a <laughs> 100,000 views interview because I kind of feel like that's my podcast. Also. Yes, so yes. And with that being said, let me apologize. Yes. That, that's the truth and that's your story. Yeah. That the, the first big Viral interview was DJ Z. DJ Z. Right? Yeah, yeah. And I apologize for, nah, nah, for nah, disturbing nah. that moment. Nah, man, but it's, it's cool. because I'm so much of a chiller yeah. that I love what you guys do and I'm so much of a fan. Yeah. Even our own fa- our, our followers, they even say, you guys are always talking about what is this podcast, podcast and chill. Yeah. Yeah. They inspire us. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Facts. But he's got a... He's got a yeah, no, I've been driving. I'm very passionate about the membership thing because when, <laughs> yeah. when you think of it, it's, it's absurd, right? We've got 600,000 subscribers and we can week we we week in week out we're getting we're hitting over half a million views meaning a lot of those 600k subscribers do engage the it's content it's not bots it's real people it's not bots it's real people right and a lot of them some of them in fact possibly a lot of them you know uh, 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 don't have wi-fi at home but they have it work, right? Meaning when they go home, they buy data. Yeah. That's Celsius money. That's all these guys' monies, right? And then all we're saying is you can also contribute 10 bucks, the lowest, 10 bucks towards the podcast. But a lot of people, it's like when people download songs, you, you, you're you on a record label. They're like, no, I used my data to buy that song. I've bought it. You know mm. what I mean? But that money is not being seen by the content the creator. creator or the producer. Yeah. You get me? So, if you think about it, 10 rands, you know? Yeah. How much does that generate us? Let's say that just 400,000, to be realistic, because sure. you can't assume 600k people are there every yeah. week. Or 200,000. Sure. 10 bucks. You know, that's 2 million, right? Of course. That, 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 that cool. we're making revenue. Revenue. Do you know what we could do with two million smoother? Revenue. <laughs> better lighting, <laughs> better <laughs> cameras, ever. We would have stood. interviewed Pito in Egypt right now. We would have said, Pito, we're coming to Egypt. <laughs> we're coming to Egypt. Sure. You know what I mean? Which South African got black coffee in Ibiza? Yo, coffee, we're coming through to Ibiza. Can you please have an hour of your time? That kind of world class content. It helps the content. It helps. And then when a Kaya comes to me, I'm like, yo, guys, half the time. I'm chasing South Africans all over the world. I can't do a radio gig. Sure. You get me? Because of, I'm good. We good. These guys are all rich. They're all millionaires. We all oh, good. Oh, snap. You get me? Because people will always say, as black people, have got the power in numbers. Yeah. We'll argue on the podcast. Yeah. What power do we really have? That we've got power, numbers, numbers, numbers. Okay, we do have our numbers. Then. We've got 600K numbers. Yeah. And the white-owned media space is shunning us. We're not getting, you know, the love. Sure. Deserve. If we're two white boys on a podcast, Ooh. oh fuck! Yo. <laughs> with those numbers, these numbers we Ooh. have. Oh. Thank you. So the white-owned media can't. We can't look to them to mm. to, to to help us out. Do you get me? And those who get what we're doing, like genealogists and some other, you know, white-owned brands who actually help the podcast and advertise, or some black executives at these big companies. Yeah. Those. That's where we get the money from. Do you get me? So not from. The numbers, you know, sure. like as in directly from the numbers. And the sad thing is, at some point, everyone is spending to consume. Sure. If you're buying Wi Fi and you're spending or you're using 10 gigs of your Wi Fi, that one gig is a tenth of your Wi Fi bill. But sure. it's not coming to us, it's going to the supplier. You know what I mean? So it would, it would be a game changer if we had more members and people are like, you know what, I like this guy's pay, content. Yeah. 10 bucks, 10 rand, what's 10? Everyone when they leave their house. Bro, I, I everyone when they leave I their house. 100, 99, yeah. 99. Bro, people Shout don't out, understand, bro. man. Like it's power. We, 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 we did an episode it's with power. Mom Antoinette uh, Citoyne. Mom Antoinette Citoyne. And Peter Peterson. So, so listen to this. Stuff. Listen to this, bro. Um, We shoot Wednesday. Finish shooting 6 p.m. Boys get back to Pretoria, maybe 7. And they probably stay there because it's cheaper than staying in Joburg. Right? Yeah. Mm. They have to edit the show which has to air 3 p.m. the next day. Mm-hmm. You know how crazy it is editing, mastering. The team knows. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yes. 
to, yeah. to, to, to do a show and upload it the next day is oh. it's hectic, <laughs> it's hectic right? right? It's Welcome to Justice. That's almost impossible. It's Shout out to Justice. On its own. It's, 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 in fact, they've got like creating is a department on its own. Yes. Editing, cutting is a department on yeah. its own. Right? Sound is a, Sound department, is a department, on its... department on its own. Right? Now, the show is up at 3 p.m. and everybody wants to complain about the subtitles. Sure. They don't understand that the same guy who's doing the color grading is doing the subtitles. Doing the, the same guy who's doing the sound is doing the subtitles. The same guy who's doing the editing. So we're doing the best we can with the little we have. With little we have. But Shout if you Richard. guys were to support, we would have a department just for subtitles. Oh, and, so, and so I might not even take a Kai FM gig because <laughs> 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 my soul is for money, man. <laughs> He earns oh, a million a month. No, but no, 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 no you fail. Money, like I said, if the deal makes sense, the deal was they allow me to do my podcast the way I've always been doing it. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. And if the money makes sense, of course. But honestly, do you think you wanna, you know, be like as much as I love bo- broadcasting, but no one wants to be. You you can't bind yourself that much if yeah. you really really good. Yeah. Unless I don't have time, I don't have a daughter. Because they've got a daughter to drive to school, yeah, sure. a daughter to pick up from school, a daughter to help with homework. Sure. So I want my time as freed up as much as possible. Did the, if I'm rich enough, though, right? Did, then I can free up my time. Did the podcast, um, did the podcast conversation come up in the negotiations with Kai? Of course, it was. A f- it was an, an elephant in the room, you know, and, and it was one of the first few things that came up, you know. Because I was like, guys, let's, let me not waste your time. Let's talk about this first, you know. The what elephant I mean? in the room. Yeah. yeah. And and what happened? Eh? What happened? You well, I, well, what? I, 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 well, I mean, well, I made to sign a contract, but I, I want to say, I've, I've, no, 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 I've got it. Okay. My lawyer's going through it, but like, I agreed. So it means they were like, it's cool, you know. Um, they don't want to mess with your podcast. Then. No, they won't mess with the podcast. They won't touch the podcast. They won't touch how I am on the podcast. You know. Do. Yeah, like. I'd like to take a step back. So. And I think they considered that before. Sorry. Sure. At, at some point, some of the social media companies had issues with the fact that data companies were making a lot of money, even though it's the social media companies that are bringing all the, all the yes, boys to the yard. Yes, they make money, and, bro. and around that time, I started thinking about this whole concept of how to monetize. You know, Afri Forum obviously got it right. And I don't know if it's a fight for blacks versus white mentality, because Afri Forum has 300,000 members contributing 150 on average per month. Wow. So you can do the maths of how Jeez. much money they make. Um, and it's always been, why are black people not doing stuff like this? Like a Andy and EPLF, why are they not getting their members to contribute monthly? And then at some point I started Simple. thinking, but this is why brands come. You're like, we've got 600,000 subscribers. They probably buy your products. Why can't you give us 10 rand from each of those products? It's not an easy conversation, but that's where they were meant to come in because asking people to give 10 rand, 99 rand is hard. It's, it's very hard, but those people hard, give yeah. money to other things and we're meant to mastermind and get, but it's tough. And it's always a matter of how do you go around getting this? Because the money's there. Your, your chillers are spending money with a lot of brands out there. And a lot of things out and there. And those brands yeah. are meant to come to you and be like, thank you. Thank you. This is for what you've done. And it's just a matter of how do we nuance get that thing to, to work? Because it's meant to work. 10 bucks is nothing. I think with time. Nothing. It's nothing. Everyone spends more than that just by yeah. spending yeah. out of their home. I think with time though. Because if somebody really, really loves your platform and your content and they feel they're sort of getting value from it, they'll be willing to pay from it, for it. So sure. people really, I'm, really I'm, love I'm not paying cool. as a chiller because I know you guys and it's because of the type of content that yeah. I'm getting. It's because of the type of mood that it puts me in when I'm there. Sure. It's because of the type of memories it ignites in my mind. You know, I come from the OFM generation. Sure. Yeah. There isn't anything out there in the broadcasting, in the media space for me when I watch. It gives me... You know, as fun as I say about I mean, I love getting into those moments of my YFM days. Sure. And if there is one platform that gets me there, is <laughs> podcast and chill. It's a podcast and chill. But also, I, I gotta make sure that you guys understand we're not driven by money. You know, yeah, yeah. No, we no, just no, no. we're just no. stating something that we've spoken about and that we think would literally change the podcasting game like this. People think we're fucking the podcasting game up, like we're doing so well. But if the mem that the thing we're talking about now happened. Oh. I totally agree. We, we've got, we, we only have, we've got less than, it's 20 something members who are paying monthly. We've just opened that joint thing, I think about two months ago. Yeah, yeah, the membership. We, we just yeah. have a little over 20 people that are willing to pay monthly. I'm like, wow. 
if all of our 80,000 subscribers <laughs> can be paid. It's crazy. So so this this is is it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy the camera you get. Bro. That you, oh, you, you how many more podcasts would you be able to put on? How many how people? Many? Yeah. Oh. How many souls would we unearth? Oh. Because so there are some souls, but they're chilling in an office somewhere. <laughs> right? And they won't need that office because they're getting paid 25 <laughs> He's right, he's right. No, for real. He's that's right. Yeah. 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 They're chilling in an office. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they're like, I suppose can't even afford my 30K or my 18K. Sure. I'm not going there. I've got a kid. I've got all these things. I've got, you know what I've I mean? got two questions. It changes the game. The first one, you mentioned uh, Kaya's uh, contract that is currently being looked at by lawyers. Yeah. Do you guys have contracts? And as a headline, I already see that. Do, do you, <laughs> hey, Saul hey. hasn't signed contracts. Oh, come on. No one is stupid to get a... I got it. Yeah. I got it. No, people also people through, definitely don't go through contracts. Hey, remove the... Hey, don't move. Contract. People don't go through contracts. Hey, Mesh, remove this one. We'll only drop that. We'll only drop that episode. Guys, like, go through your fucking contract. Whatever. Yeah, when you get a contract, don't let... Work back to Hollywood tonight. Contract you starting to work at three pm. Sign. It's an important conversation. Especially no, you know why, right? It's an important conversation. Yeah, because I'm in. I'm in a very. No one goes through their contracts. No one. Yeah, I'm in a very interesting place because I'm in a place of, I'm on the podcast. You know, we've agreed. We're good. You know what I mean? Sure. But anything can happen on the podcast. We all know. Of course. You get me? And I want to protect myself as well. Mm -hmm. You know, so that Gandhi. It's maybe it's in the fine print in the in the contract. Do you, so I want to do you guys have contracts well. at podcast and chill, even with your crew, etc.? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. We're not running as puzzle shop, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> The second question I wanted to ask. Have you heard me miss a show because I'm sick? Because I've got the flu. It's a discovery for you that you're going to get You're discovering it now. Go medical aid, you're good. <laughs> Look, the, the, the second question I want to ask is people obviously think you guys are killing it they think everyone keeps assuming I, I've done it thinking how much are these guys making because it's CPM if it's making this much and I'm views are you guys ever comfortable to speak about the monies you make do you ever speak to your chillers your members about the monies you make or you're like you know what I'd rather not it complicates Mechie things has never been like that type of person sure Make you has always been a really chill person Sure. Yeah, it's not no, but the, but the thing is, I'm very honest. Like I said, if we make money, I'll say, ah, it's a new man. It's a color man. Sure. Mm. But we're not. That's the truth. Directly Ta from YouTube or not? We're not. That's the honest truth. Like, we make enough money to cover the lights. There's so much we want to do, but we can't. Uh, 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 Your channel is yes. how much you make of YouTube? No, 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 no. They okay. don't. Yeah. Like, if you see maybe Mac or me or whatever in the car or you know whatever most of the money he makes outside and i make it outside sure. of the podcast bro the, the, the only person who's making money is youtube they make a shitload of money and the, yeah. and the providers our the telecoms providers yeah yeah we're not ah right. bro hey hey man hey not imagine, bro. There's a reason if you are to make 2.5 percent of data that the chillers pay or the money that is made by the wow. networks your border comms and your mtns if you were to make just two point five percent of it. Sure. From the amount Bro, of money. Bro, my, my first paycheck from YouTube was eight thousand. That's a lot of money. What? No. Jeez. Bro, Bro you should have seen the numbers we were doing. Sure. But it was eight thousand. No, oh. the, the reason the Bro. reason I'm raising this. Sorry, the reason I'm raising this. You know, so many of our celebrities die poor. So many of our soccer players die poor. So many of our etc. So. People are gonna come and see we, ah, if, YouTube if, podcast. If we relied on YouTube, we, we are definitely dying poor. Because, because kids yeah. need to know out there, like, what am I getting myself into? Am I going to become rich? Is this... So people must know, look, you must have a side gig. You must make sure that you're doing stuff on the side. Yes. No et YouTube is a billboard, like I keep saying. Yeah. It's a billboard. Yes, people are watching, but it doesn't correlate to money. Sure. So when we have 500,000 views, it's not 500,000 rands. Sure. You get what I'm saying? Sure. But it's what you do with those 500,000 people. Sure. You can uh, direct them to... A product. A product. You. you understand? Sure. The, uh, the biggest thing is to leverage your platform. Yeah. You've got a platform it's, now. It's like don't radio. just rest. Yeah. We don't get big way. checks on radio. No, I don't. Yeah, but I, but I we remember when... We get exposure, when, we get yeah, gigs, we see. get business opportunities. When, when I started at Y, um, one gig paid my whole salary for the month. Yeah, same here. Yeah, yeah. Solid. Yeah. Same here. Exactly. Solid. Same here. So you just get there for, to do what you love and the exposure. And then you monetize it. You sure. leverage off of that. Otherwise, from YouTube, nah, bro. Nah, bro. Like ah, they're, they're raping us there, but you know, it's a platform. But you can, 
Yeah. Yeah. Because you can imagine how much YouTube is charging. Yeah. To play ads during our show. Yeah. Yeah. And that money doesn't go to us. No, 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 no. no. You know, a small percentage of it does. Zero comma zero zero. Zero comma zero zero. Everything yeah. else is theirs. No, thank so you. So they, they, yeah. No, so, I'm, I'm asking this because, like I said, the internet is the thing. Is the kids kids need to know these things so that they the don't truth. come in. And get burnt and be like, ah, oh, but Saul Mac, why didn't you guys tell us? Nah, yeah, but kids mustn't do things for money, podcast. dog. Also we're not money, we're not money it, driven, yeah. dog. Yeah. We just do what we kids love. Kids shouldn't do things for money. Yeah. Okay. We're money driven, dog. Like uh, We're money driven. Sorry, man. We're passion driven. Yeah. Sure. So, yeah, we're sure. passion driven. Like, I never I don't think Saul got into the podcast thinking, okay, now I'm gonna be a millionaire. Zero, yeah. Yeah. No. Never. He was like, hey, I love this shit. Oh, shit I miss yeah. it. This is dope. Hey, Whatever no happens, it. happens. That- Dude, I, I've got a bag ne, that I carry <laughs> with when I go to gigs. <laughs> and it's my woman's bag because I never thought I'd get gigs ever again. And travel. <laughs> you never thought I'd travel. <laughs> I don't have a visa, dog. Sure. I, know, I never thought I'd travel. Uh, but now we're getting bookings in UK. You're like, oh shit, okay, yeah. let's go. Like luggage, you know. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, man. You, you you spoke about young people and politics, and I I really wanted to hear more of your thoughts around that because young people have become despondent, and I think you're actually quite a refreshing voice for that because a lot of young people, especially on platforms, want to say all the right things. No, you know the politic the political landscape, and and you're like, nah, fuck that, man. You don't care about politics, and I wanted you to, to expand on that. Well, look, man, I can't, I can't uh, speak for the youth because I'm not a youth, uh, ANC youth leader or whatever. Sure. But I can tell you my personal experience. Yeah. Uh, I don't like to focus on the negative. Yeah. You understand? I like to focus on, okay, cool. We are here. What do we do now? Sure. So, for example, when I got fired, I didn't focus on like, ah, oh, shit, uh, I'm fired. What am I going to, what's going to happen? I, I was like, all right, cool, I'm fired. What do I do now? Sure. Let's podcast. Sure. Boom. So I try to find solutions yeah. in whatever predicament I'm in and not rely on anyone else to help me or find the solution for me. And I think if we impl- implement that as young people, we'll be in a far better state yeah. in terms of, okay, cool, whatever, wherever you are, hood, township, suburb, as a young person, whatever difficulty you are going through, look at it and be like, all right, cool, solution. Sure. First thing is solution. What's the solution? And for me right now, I think the solution is working together. Sure. You know, you look at us, um, we've got the biggest podcast in Africa. Um, we don't pay for our studios. Yeah. Why? Because we reached out to David Mashabela. He's oh. like, I got studios. Yeah. He's like, ah, cool, clean. Uh, you, he's like, you, can, you guys can come shoot. Uh, just mention that you're shooting at Mashabela Studios. Sure. Now we have studios. You understand what I'm saying? Collaboration. Collaboration. Yeah. 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 That's all it is. Instead of sitting down and be like, ah, so we don't have studios. We're yeah. going to shoot hey, now. And writing 100 letters to the government. <laughs> Come on. Wait, wait, wait. We need money for studios. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. we've, we've got a platform now. It's called Chiller's Market. Where, and it's something that DJ Spoo, I think, uh, started with the hashtag DJ Spoo. Uh, mention whatever business oh, you want to yeah, push. Yeah. Hashtag, yeah. And, 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 and I'll, I'll retweet. You know, because sure. you have a platform. Sure. So we started Chillers Market where Chillers can upload a business that they are doing and then Chillers can support that business. Sure. So we are trading amongst Chillers. Ah, that's that's power. Bro. You understand what I'm that saying? That's so beautiful. So if you need power. a panel beater, you power, go to Chillers bro. Market, sure. mm. you're supporting another Chiller. Mm. If you need tissue, it's there. Mm. Supporting so another network, Chiller. Yeah. So those things, it's one way of, okay, there's the solution. Sure. Instead of saying government can you fund us so we can start an app? No. But that's also leadership, eh? And you need to own it. I know you said I'm not a youth lead. <laughs> that's actually leadership. And I think a lot of, not even I think, I know for a fact, a lot of young people look up to you guys. Hey, and they mustn't, man. Hey, they mustn't, man. Hey, hey we fucked up, man. We're disappointed. Hey, we're man. Just, <laughs> we're speaking yeah. solutions now, and that's exactly what they need to hear. Yeah. 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 And I think that's important. That's very powerful. I like the fact that you remember what you always say? We don't have to like each other to work together. Yeah. And we're always preaching about us being united. And you always um, share thoughts of how difficult is it going to be? How is it? Are we even ever going to be united? Yeah. How long is it going to take? Sure. Us? I yeah. mean, there's people that, but anyways, 
Let's just find our tribe Bro, the, and unite the, and work together. The sure. White people fucked us up so much that we are not happy for the next person. So, for example, a black person right now, if I'm with Saul and he sees grandeur is popping, he's going to want his own gin. Because it's like, ah, Mac G can't pop by himself. I need my own Saul gin. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where else Saul could be like, oh, shit, I see you got grandeur. It goes well with tonic. Let me make tonic. Let me make a Boom. brand. Mm. Now we're collaborating. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? It's a simple thing, bro. And it doesn't have to be a money exchange. I'll tell you a story now. And you know this guy, which was so beautiful, man. This guy is probably like a tech guru. Uh, the most uh, 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 informative guy when it comes to like cryptocurrency, websites, technology. In, this, in that space, sure. he's the best I've ever met, right? Sure. And I called him up just to ask for advice. I'm like, yo, dude, we, we, we want to upgrade our website so you can um, uh, take as much payments as possible, like take a lot, you know? Yoko, pay fast, whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how, can you help me? Can you just give me advice, you know? It's not, no, no worries, dog. I'll help you out. I'll do your website. All I want you to do is just push my, uh, my YouTube page on your website. Do you know what that is? How dope is that, bro? Great. Great job, oh, yeah. You know what Great job, is. That's my boy, sure. Yeah, you work with yeah. Great job, A simple thing, dog. Yeah. Collaboration. 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 And va value exchange, That's which is another thing. Value I think. exchange. It's not always about money. It's not. Like, I don't have money, dog, but I might have skills that might add value to what you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No proper. Thanks a lot, Mac. Yeah. You guys must keep leading, by the way. There's a lot of young no, people man, that some of us here. Are you waiting Just to hold on us? I yeah. The thing is, say what is already happening. You know? Say I don't want to lead, right, Chief. Right, chief. I don't want to lead, Chief. Right. Hey, wait, now we can't drink. <laughs> and I like that. I like We're role models, I like man. That. Just, just do your thing. We do your last. Yeah. If you get inspired from it, sharp. Sure. You know? yeah. But once you look at yourself like, ah, I'm a role model now, you know? You overthink things you yeah. never used to overthink. Yeah. And well, that, that overthinking used to inspire people. Now you're yeah. going to, now, you're, you're going to, nah, it's too much. And, and, and I also kind of think it, too much Wait, pressure. it's too much pressure. And I also kind of think it makes people feel they must expect some sort of solution from somebody else out there who's their role model. Yeah. Like people must do things for themselves. Mm. As much as you've got a role model to, to, to model yourself after, but you got to do the work. You got to do it yourself. Yeah, you, you need to do the work. Yeah, because half of those role models or even more than, more than a half, if they were to meet you, in the beginning, they'd probably be for you and show you love. Mm. But once you start doing well a few years later, the same role models that you look you used to look up to, that's my story in the industry. Yeah. The same idols role be idols become to, rivals. As soon as you get into Yo, the yeah, industry, yeah. Like, then How they crazy, they don't like it do, you doing better than them. Idols, How crazy? Idols yeah. become rivals. How crazy? It's like that. Bro. But you've cracked it, dog. It's like that. It's our industry, bro. But that's you've cracked it, dog. I think we all have um, done our bit. I think we've worked very hard. It's not an easy thing to, to make it in this business. Mm. It's not an easy thing to make it in this country. And some of us that are that, that, that are sort of in some sort of pedestals or who've sort of done well, I know this this is not where we all want to be. We believe we could be doing yeah, better. Yeah, yes, definitely. But there's a lot of people that look at us as having made it. Mm. I think in some sort of way, it's our responsibility to sort of, you know, share info, give back somehow, Bring somebody on here and there whenever we can. Mm. Guys, that's what you guys have been doing. Yeah. yeah. I and think it's clear. important. I think it's important if you're blessed that you bless others. Oh, that's it. yes. It's a simple, simple thing, man. Yeah. It's an African thing. So I mean, we got a guy now who's our sound engineer. He reminds me of DJ Clear, bro. Yeah. The guy's a sound engineer, but he's got a single out Aya. He's pushing. I'm like, yo, talk. Before we even drop singles. Before we even drop singles. Yeah, dog. Hey, man. Yeah, Aya's a hustler, man. You know what I mean? We've got Maligant who, when I met them, they were just uh, students. Um who are disgruntled and marginalized, kind of like myself and you. Yeah. <laughs> and um, they were living in one room, four of them, had a passion, pushed, we met. Now they're shooting videos for Sir Trill. Now when I want to fly, I, hey, it's a, it's a mission. Because <laughs> they're so busy. <laughs> but it's beautiful. Yeah. You understand? All he did was just open the door. Yeah, you know, and that's yeah. what you gotta do. It's you a simple want thing. To grow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Big up to you guys. I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. 
Thank you for being um, game changers and being leaders in the industry. I think a lot of young people, you know, who look up to you will, will then in some sort of way do their own thing. Somehow. Yeah. Because the answer is not out there, guys. The yeah. answer is in us. Now, what Casper's done is amazing, dog. It's totally awesome. Like, he inspires me as well, man. Like, who would have thought, dog, you could fill up the dome? But bro. I waited for that Everyone. interview. What happened after the Casper's Casper's the first. Ah, uh, he said he won't come. Oh, no, no, he said he won't come. Yeah, he said like, he won't he, come. He did oh, say it. He did yeah, say yeah, yeah. yeah, he literally didn't... Are we it. ready? And he then he said, nah, he's not coming. He didn't man up to his own word. And he didn't even have the, the courage to say, I know I said I'm coming. I lost. I'm not coming. Sure. He said... He technically didn't lose the fight. <laughs> you know, that's the way he's work. These tweets. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the man didn't say, I said I'm coming, I lost, I'm not coming. Sure. He said, I technically didn't lose the fight. But it goes back to what then he was like, saying. Show us the belt. It goes back to what he was saying. Casper just happened to be collateral damage of the honesty of the podcast. Okay. So he won't come because we said some stuff about him. Yeah. And he took it that personally. That he didn't like, yeah. That he didn't what like. What stuff did you guys say? What did he say? Yeah, we we did say I don't remember. Lot, yeah. uh, they, pro- they were probably talking shit because these guys no, talk shit a lot. No, but what did they say? I'm asking them. Sure. I can't remember. We've spoken what so much shit say? about. Ah, uh, we've we'll, we'll said a lot of stuff. We've we'll said a lot of stuff. Bro. We have to say about him. He's never on about. None of them though. I mean, come on, but, guys, you need but, to understand. No, but 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 to 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 say what you were saying, Uri, yeah. it wasn't personal. Sure. Stalubonga, oops. So what happened? But it could have been something similar to what to what Tumek was asking earlier. If you'd taken him and Jup Jup seriously, yes. and then you refused to come back onto the yes. show again, it would have been a joke like that. Yes. So, and, and it's sad, I and it's sad, bro, because I, I admire the guy, bro. I love him to bits. I think what he's done with T. Lee... It's amazing. He's These guys, yo, He's bro, the best manager in the world. Like, who would have thought you could fill up the dome, bro? I watched Jay Z at the dome when he came, 50 Cent. Remember? I watched Kanye at the dome. You know? I watched Nicki Minaj at the dome. Now, if, 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 I watched Casper at the dome. You know what I mean? Whoa. Now, if, I watched Casper at Orlando Stadium. I watched Casper at FNB. How can you not be inspired, though, sure. by that? And that's just one of the many things that he's done. I mean, what he did at Celeb City, when I was watching, I'm like, this guy's a fucking genius. That was crazy. That's a, like, I'm like, who thinks of this shit? In this country. Yeah. 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 That was but a the historical narrative, moment. The narrative sometimes out there, it seems like as if podcasts and chill, not any man, who cares, my type of thing, you know? That's what breaks my heart. Yeah. Oh, and you guys get a lot of negative press as well. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, that's like, like man, you cares, <laughs> bah, but the, like, as a man, you focalistic. You guys talk trash we, about women? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Even though we've got a women's podcast, Celeste and Dooley sure. was struggling to sell her tickets. We interviewed her for a one-man show. Sold out she, in two she days. Said it, she said it on our Sold out in two that, days. That one trend. Right? That one trend. Always say shout that out to ZK for that one trend. No, no, no. our first viral video. Yeah. ZK, you know? That so one trend. So many women yeah. have made the podcast be what it is and give them their flowers. And generally, we... Re- like... Men are not allowed to be honest. If I make a no, fat joke, no, that's the no. bottom line. No. Men are not allowed to be honest. Yes. No. About certain things. How yeah. like, dare you? Like if yeah. I make a fat joke, you know, you don't the one say Saul doesn't like fat people, you know, but certain things you joke about, it's like we hate certain people. It's the, it's the world we live in. We live in a cancel culture and everything is binary, it's black or white, or whatever. Ah, uh, but it's dying out, man. That was last year's shit. You believe so? Yeah, I think it's over. No, I, I don't think it's over. I think with us, people have come to accept that. These guys are they get us. You guys are making so it more so gray. Things I, like, yeah? You guys are making it more gray for people. It's not black and white. Yes, yes, yes. We're bringing in more gray. Sure. Because so many things we say, and I, I get surprised. I'm like, oh, that didn't, you know, they didn't cancel us for that. It didn't sure. catch fire. People are starting to get us. But like I said earlier on, we're the guinea pigs. Are you guys That's cancelable? Not, Never. You see, it's what I mean. Does that give you like superstar status? Like nah, Joe Rogan, Dave Chappelle? Nah. You can say nah, whatever the fuck nah, you want. No, no. No, we answer to chillers. Remember. Sure. We always, we always answer to someone. Okay. We answer to God. Then we, on, on, here with our work, we answer to chillers. Solid. Mm. No, thanks, Jen. But as long as they keep supporting us, then no one can cancel us. That's power. Yeah. That's Regu- power. Regulation is coming, guys. The future of podcasts. They want to regulate the internet. They're going, going to regulate it. They're going to regulate it. Sooner rather than later. They'll nah. call it freedom of speech. Nah, nah. What is your opinion? Regulation is coming. Well, then we'll start another platform. Yeah, Fuck yeah, it. Like, <laughs> like with cryptocurrency, <laughs> regulation is coming. They're yeah. still trying to just figure it out. Yeah. It's a way. Hey, yeah. bro. Nah, we'll start another platform. Fuck him. 
<laughs> it's definitely coming. The guys who run the world, man, have got their own opinions on things and they have issues, again, with propaganda. They don't like when certain things are done and they can see because you need to understand the world you live in, it's a battle of minds. You need minds to move in a certain way. And when they're like young guys that are busy fucking with minds and they're no longer following this and they're doing that and they actually want solutions and they're not things, yeah. voting the way they're supposed to vote, it becomes a huge fuck up. They're like, no, shut this shit down. Because you're messing with their bag. Oh, you're messing with everything. They mm. control their power, everything. Mm. That's why you find so many powerful people own media, you know, like... Yeah, because they have propaganda. They know. Propaganda, control the mouthpiece and you control the minds, right? Sure. Sign them onto Kai FM and then... <laughs> What did you think? What did that guy touch was making noise about data falling? Salomon to Metro. Boom. Mm -hmm. There is another one making noise on that podcast and chill. Salomon. What did you what did what did you think of the Kai FM move? Man, you never told me. I think it's great. I really think it's dope because I think it's even gonna make the podcast better. Because a lot of people are gonna be introduced to him through radio, somehow they're going to find their way to the podcast. I don't think it's going to take anything away from the podcast. I think it's going to nah, add won't. onto the podcast. If the podcast doesn't change, it won't. If I don't change, it won't. And I won't. But you're right. Not even just the podcast. People will be like, oh, this guy's from the podcasting game. And people, more people will start taking podcasts serious. seriously. Yeah. And then, it's a, it's a, podcast almost niche. We're like the first people to make it almost, because when I go to the hood, it falls low. A guy at the car wash comes up to me, gives me, drops his, he was not like it. Drops the man so I can have him. I'm like, damn, he wants a podcast. You know my phone. No computer. No. On your phone. On your phone. I have computer now. I find. And we're the first like people to sort of bring it, you know, yeah. up to mainstream, mainstream like, yeah. you know what I mean? But with more guys from wife uh, from podcasts who break through people will be like this podcasting thing is actually a real thing it's a real thing and then it becomes mainstream in the long run and that helps us go and get advertising compete with radio stations for Boom. advertising get the kind of budgets tell them tell them the story so um netbank, and we need free wi-fi yeah netbank has got studios in in in, in newtown Right? Old Mutual. Old Mutual. Amp Studios. Amp Studios. Yeah. yeah. And we don't get half the budget radio stations get on podcasts and chill. Not even a tenth. Tell them the story. So what happened is um, uh, Old Mutual approached us because they were launching this Amp Studios. It was just like beginning phases of podcast and chill. Uh, so wasn't they? Not even these numbers. These yeah, numbers. not even oh, these numbers. numbers. Like hundred thousand subscribers. Shout out to John Savage. Yeah, yeah shout out to John Savage. He's my boy. Ninety thousand subscribers. Yeah, yeah. doing great work by the way in the industry. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, so, so He's shaping so many, to allow so many young people to have free Wi-Fi. Danko. to come use your electricity. Danko. to push their dreams. John, John yeah. Savage. Oh, oh, and this is a white oh, man, dog. White man. White man. He gets it. He gets it. Big up to John Savage, by the way. John Savage is beautiful. So to launch that thing, they're like, here is the budget. I'll tell you how much they, they gave us. Because uh, we spent it. <laughs> oh, I was calling the week. Hey, everybody. <laughs> they gave us 50,000. Yeah. We did seven episodes of just pushing Amped. They gave uh, Heifeld 1.5 million. 1. 5 million. And every time you go to Amped, you have to sign where you heard about Amped from. So that can get a, re a, a, a response. They got feedback. so much traffic. 99% of everyone that went into the building was from Podcast and Chill. Only one person from Highfeld. And they didn't even go in. They were like, is this Amped? And they left. And that's the power of Jeez. Podcast. And yet... 1,000 versus 1 point? 5 million. Jesus. Or 3 or whatever. Remember they asked us on the on the JJ Tamane, uh, Dr. JJ Tamane interview about us. It's crazy, about, right? Uh, about sponsorship. Hey, they did us wrong there. You remember what my answer was, Megji? When we, why didn't you come, by the way? I thought you were gonna bring him through. Ah, uh, they didn't tell me that they want so that's keys, that's keys. Yeah, me man. too. They yeah. didn't tell me that they want Penyon. I was like, I'm coming. We'll make you yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, no, 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 no. oh, no, take no, that no, back. That's not true. Hey. I'll defend him. That's not. Hey, that. take it back. A lot of times, Matt gets like, eh, hey, bring, eh, hey, hey. Okay, the chief says, we want to send you 
or whatever. No, bro, the and Summers. You, every, the, the Summers. Which, was it the Summers or no, Hip Hop Awards? No, and Mecca was... Like, was it the Hip Hop Awards? I'm sure even now, we're going to the UK, they were like, we just want you. So I'm like, hey, bring Sol <laughs> also. Bring Sol also, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, Mecca's like that. Sure. Yeah, me too. I'm like, Nizan 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 Mm. And remember what my answer was to Dr. JJ Daman. I was like, I was like, whether they come now or later, mm. Oxalayo, they will come. This what sure. we're doing is inevitable. The, 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 the thing is, there are some sponsors, dog, to be honest with you, that get what we are doing yeah, and they, they wanna be a part of it. The biggest ailment is our people. Because what happens is that Amstel, for example, Amstel, we ran a campaign with them for eight weeks to push their party that never happened. <laughs> 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 yeah, for eight, nine, ten weeks. The last week, bro, we've did, we've done a stellar job. They are happy. The numbers are great. They, they, I it's I'm still. <laughs> Please, take it easy. They got they got there's cartoons of us. Remember yeah, when they yeah. when they did cartoons of us drinking Amstel? Oh yes, yes, yes. I remember. Yeah, yeah. The, like, the pictures, yeah. like they got the ROI. The crazy, crazy ROI. On Thomas Buddha. Like yo. And Jeez. then the last week, so or I, I don't know, but there was a comment from the podcast that the community didn't like. And literally five people, that, uh, five people sent an email to Amstel saying, how can you support these guys? Pull out your sponsorship. Boom, 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 boom. And then they, they that's how they... I've experienced that. They, that's how they put out that statement. Like, what statement was it? The statement where we do not condone podcasts. Oh, I, blah, 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 I, I think that's the moment. After was, so many Amstels were sold by but, us. But I yeah. think. By, by us. Yeah. But, but let me tell you so. I think that's the moment podcasts and shit blew up. No, 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 no. That moment you're talking about. Apart from your first viral video. That, no. When, when I think when the whole industry was trying to cancel you guys, that's when you guys. You're confusing the moments. That's not the Amstel Isn't that moment. The moment? Oh. No. That's the that's the, the, the Manchester United moment. That's that was the, old mutual. That was the. Yeah, oh. well, yeah. That was when. We we're talking about the trans thingies. Oh. That's the moment. And the campaign had been done. Now nah, that one is, yeah. But that, what I'm saying is that what happens, even now, like, dude, we've lost about six brands this year. Yeah. Because um, the white people that own this shit don't watch the podcast. Yes. Sure. They, right? they just, they just see traffic. the numbers. Yeah. yeah. They see the numbers like, hey, what's going on here? We want a piece of this, right? And then they talk to us, boom, 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 boom. And then when they go back, there's Mbogotos. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, ah, you can't spend money here because yes. these niggas don't like women, whatever. They and these women, bo these bogotos, yeah, whatever. LGBTQ, I'm, I'm yeah. chillers. They don't even watch the show. They Strong see they see snippets trip. on Twitter and make a judgment. And they tag. It happens. That's that's how oh, they happens. Tag. You understand they what I'm saying? Brand, yeah. Now they forget that without that bag, we can't pay the ten women that we've employed. The two. People in the community that we've employed. Do you understand? The young people, over 30 young people, black people. LGBTQ, and this climb. black women, all in the they, they don't care even. You understand? So that's why I'm saying that it's our own people that are de the detriment of, of us. Sponsors get it, they want to spend money, but they're afraid. Because if anything happens in the podcast, their name will be dragged. Yeah. And who makes the. Who's sparks the cancel culture it's our people or well, sometimes yeah. nothing even has to happen just when they come on then with amstel let me tell you with amstel bro it was mainly it wasn't in a comment you made on that particular show so they caught wind of it and they brought up old stuff like oh you guys want to be associated with these guys Jeez. this is what they said yeah. this is what they've done well like we were over there it was an educational moment sure. for us we apologized we did a show with a trans guy you know what i mean Kevin Hart moment. Oh, trans person. That's what happened. Yes. Yes. It's a Kevin Hart moment. Yeah. So we, we, we've got a we've got a, a podcast about the community so we can all learn. No, we have a, a, an LGBTQI uh, podcast. You know that? Like, that's hosted by Bougie yeah, and, I've seen it. and some I've of seen his it. colleagues. Yeah. Exactly. After that, to show that, okay, we are actually remorseful. It was a learning point for and us. Sure. We're interested to learn more. And we're interested because a lot of, like, some of our, our fans are people from the community. Sure. You know, I talked to a lot of them on the phone. A lot, bro. A lot. At the time. 
he, he was like, I love you guys so much, but you hurt me. Yeah. And I heard him out. Mm. Yeah, that's why we've got that podcast. Sure. And, and that's why I, I liked the episode with uh, Eusebius last sure. week. Ah, uh, Makaisa, yes. You, were, you, were, you, were, you, were, you said the same thing. About? Um, what he's saying. Um, oh, I used to be homophobic. Yeah. And then I got to Varsity at Rhodes. And I, I was exposed to so many gay people at the time. Obviously, I was like, but this is a normal gent. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. And through that, I started opening up and, and learning and... My sister as well is dated. Bro, I've yeah. never been homo- wow, homophobic you, in my life, bro. So, so, sure. so, so when I hear that, it, it, it saddens me, dog. I know a lot of gay people. Sure. You know? Tri- Tri- DJ Smooth. Don't say this, so <laughs> <laughs> It's like, I've got, a, I've got a black friend. Oh, all these guys, these people. I'm a racist, dude. Don't say that. I know a lot no, of gay people. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I know a lot bro, of gay people. Bro, tra- bro, bro, I said that because I'm going to in the DJ Smooth line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you hear it? <laughs> that actually was the line. Yeah, that was a, that was a punch line. <laughs> you know, Trevor oh, no, Noah says prejudice doesn't hold up well uh, with contact. And a lot of homophobic, xenophobic, whatever phobic people just haven't interacted and befriended people from another what what. Yes. And that's yes. why yes. all of us are meant to be teachable and willing yes. to be open-minded to learning. I bashed you, what what, I thought you were a clown. If you're willing to hear me out, I think Dave Chappelle did it as well, where he was speaking about the jokes and someone from the trans community ended up being someone that he put on to crack jokes on stage and the person apparently committed suicide later. I remember that. Yeah. But it was this thing of like, the lady. None of us know things. You know it. Well done to you. You've been living with certain people maybe your whole life. I don't know. I come from a conservative background. Come from ignorance. School me. School yeah. me. I'm bro, willing for to me, learn. For me, I don't, even, I don't even see it like that, dog. I see us as all humans, bro. I sure. was in a multiracial school. I had an Indian friend, a Jewish friend. I went to his bar mitzvah. A colored friend. Uh, uh, so, so when I see an albino, for me, it's just another person. Sure. So when I see someone in the community, for me, it's just a person. Sure. Like, it doesn't have to do with race, color. Talak says the same thing. He says, Trump. you guys took us to white co- white schools to study with everybody and just be... And now that we are friends with everybody, you guys come at us again. Now it's an issue. You, now it's an yeah, issue. Yeah, yeah. Like, honestly, we're all humans, bro. We all shit. We all breathe. This has been beautiful. Let me see how long. It's been, it's been too long. It's been too long. It's been an hour and a half. We're we're space space space. I know. I, I wanted us to make this like part. Okay, maybe let's leave it here so we can have a part two. What do you think? Please. Because I can see the guys are. Look, it's if, if, only... if your PAs will allow us. No. Yeah. Oh, good, man. No. Good. If your PAs, if your PAs will allow us, guys, please. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. What PA? Wouldn't even speak to your lawyers and your. Bro, I'm really fascinated and, uh, about the religion thing, man. Uh, you, must shut down. you know he's got his own religion. Shut it down. Hey, shut it he's down. got his own religion. Oh, shut it down. He's got his own religion. Can you wait? Wait. No, no. Let's bring. It, let's bring him to come to us on the podcast. Okay. Friend of the podcast. Okay. You know, and also trans do the cross pollination between us. Oh and yes, and yes, yes, yes. I saw you guys had awesome some yeah. the other day. Yeah, yeah, that was dope, yeah, man. Didn't you guys dabble in that? That picture, that picture, that one picture, that one picture, that one picture. Let's hold hands. Spoo used to do this every single morning when I did the show. And pray. Pray for us. Yes. Let's go. So that we are not pray to mainstream media. Pray for us, Mr. Oh, they'll pray on us. Okay, cool. Mudzimonga Baba, Rogadama Panda, Rich Tungo Pada, Rich Rabbit, and Kava, Chimbe, Varts, and the Castle of the Zuna Raita. No Fara DJ Spoo up on the Nino Fara Soul. Home at him, Dilmar. Proud of you, bro. Thank you, thank you, Spoo. Thank you, Ben. You're fucking amazing, bro. Do you know what I said? Spoo's gonna call you, you know that, right? Do you know what I said in Venom? He's gonna call him 702. I'm like, no, I'm with DJ Spoo, so. And this other guy, I don't know him, but please bless him. Oh, you said that in 
This is the Hustlers Corner.